How to deal with getting older. Getting older is something that happens to us all, if we live long enough. Because we live in a youth-based culture, it might be hard to face getting older. If you're struggling to deal with getting older, it will help to develop a more positive attitude. Educating yourself about what to expect, and taking care of your body will help support your positive attitude. Developing a positive attitude. Face your fears of aging. Be specific and concrete. Identifying the things that you're most afraid of will help you confront them. If you've been avoiding thinking about aging because it's too upsetting, this exercise may be exactly what you need to help you deal with getting older. The way you think about yourself and the process of getting older will affect the way you view your own life. For many people, getting older means getting closer to death. Their fears of aging are partially due to fears of death, either their own or the death of a loved one. Planning your end-of-life care and confronting the root of this fear may help. You may also fear losing your independence, becoming more physically frail, or developing health conditions related to aging. Learn more about adaptations and supports that will allow you to keep your independence for as long as possible. You might be concerned about your altered appearance. Find role models who have engaged gracefully with aging, either famous or in your own life. Talking with supportive friends, family or professionals can help you name your fears in a safe way. When you name your fears with close friends, you'll likely feel better even if nothing else has changed. For many people, getting older means getting closer to death. Their fears of aging are partially due to fears of death, either their own or the death of a loved one. Planning your end-of-life care and confronting the root of this fear may help. You may also fear losing your independence, becoming more physically frail, or developing health conditions related to aging. Learn more about adaptations and supports that will allow you to keep your independence for as long as possible. You might be concerned about your altered appearance. Find role models who have engaged gracefully with aging, either famous or in your own life. Talking with supportive friends, family or professionals can help you name your fears in a safe way. When you name your fears with close friends, you'll likely feel better even if nothing else has changed. Stay in the moment. Naming all these fears might feel overwhelming, but naming fears doesn't mean that they're happening at the moment. Be aware that most things that you're afraid of are not actually happening right now. When you notice your fears rising, ask yourself, is this happening now? If the answer is no, turn your attention to the present moment. If there are steps that you can take to address the fear, such as planning long-term care options to address your fear of developing health conditions or physical frailty, then take action on these steps. When you notice your fears rising, ask yourself, is this happening now? If the answer is no, turn your attention to the present moment. If there are steps that you can take to address the fear, such as planning long-term care options to address your fear of developing health conditions or physical frailty, then take action on these steps. Focus on the good. There are many reasons to look forward to getting older. For example, you will be able to draw on your lifelong experiences in order to help others. You may receive respect from younger people just starting out. Aging may allow you to slow down and enjoy your life free of active parenting and work obligations. If you have saved for retirement, you may be able to enjoy learning and traveling for pleasure. You may be free of work and school responsibilities for the first time in your life. Aging may allow you to slow down and enjoy your life free of active parenting and work obligations. If you have saved for retirement, you may be able to enjoy learning and traveling for pleasure. You may be free of work and school responsibilities for the first time in your life. Find role models. If you fear getting older, it may be that you associate aging with unpleasant examples that you have been given. Many people reach old age with healthy bodies, their minds alert and their appreciation for life undimmed. If you realize that there are many people who've enjoyed old age, you're less likely to be stuck in your fears. Look for examples in the media, in the community, and in your own life. If you realize that there are many people who've enjoyed old age, you're less likely to be stuck in your fears. Look for examples in the media, in the community, and in your own life. Talk to your friends. Even though many people are private about age-related topics, your friends can be a valuable source of experience and insight. Perhaps you have friends who are older, or who've already made long-term plans for themselves. Asking them about their experiences will help you better able to make your own plans. Your friends can help you realize that everyone has to deal with getting older. You'll find examples that you can use in your own life, both positive and negative. Older family members can also be helpful. 
If your parents are living, talking with them about their own aging process can offer you some ideas about what your own process might be. Stay connected to others. Clinical studies have repeatedly shown that healthy aging is supported by feelings of social connection. Whether you spend time with friends, family members, or participate in other community activities, developing social connections is one of the best ways to care for yourself as you get older. Taking part in volunteer organizations, mentoring children, tutoring in schools are all ways you can interact with others and develop relationships. Try connecting with others online. If you have mobility limitations, or if you live far from your family, use online options to maintain communication. Video chats, such as Skype, FaceTime, or other, are great ways to stay in touch. Taking part in volunteer organizations, mentoring children, tutoring in schools are all ways you can interact with others and develop relationships. Try connecting with others online. If you have mobility limitations, or if you live far from your family, use online options to maintain communication. Video chats, such as Skype, FaceTime, or other, are great ways to stay in touch.